Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I have on review Insert Chat and spoiler alert, I think you should get this too while it is available on Plus Sumo Day. And before we dive deeper in the tool, let me show you the end result first so you can see for yourself what you can achieve with this tool. So you can see my website where I post some deals reviews and down below you can see I have connected the chat and here is a quick example. Imagine you post reviews for Wordcraft and Blog Assistant, those are AI writing tools and someone is choosing between those two. I have asked this question, then insert chat analyzed my data on my website, provided comparison between those two tools, summarized that, and gave my affiliate links, which were mentioned in those posts. I think that's great. So let's go back to the deal and explore it a bit. First of all, I see one negative review. However, when I read through that, it was addressed for one buyer on tier three, white labeling was not available, but it was a configuration issue and it was addressed. And yeah, basically it is like any other chatbot that you can train on your data from different sources. You can configure the look and feel of your chat and you can easily connect that chatbot or chat agent to your website. I'll show you how in a moment. Just let's explore the deals structure. And I think one of the main metrics here will be credits per month because one credit is spent on one reply for GPT-40 mini model, which is enough to provide good results. You can connect more sophisticated models. However, the basic one will cost you one credit per response. So with license tier one, you can support 100 replies daily. And starting from license tier three, you get white labeling support. And maximum what you can have, 40,000 credits. So 40,000 dividing by average number of days. So you can support more than 1,300 messages daily. Okay, so let's explore the configuration of insert chat. So here is the chatbot that I created and uh, you can see some settings here. You can see the preview and installation is very easy. So super easy, I would say. As you would expect with any similar software, you can find a script and then for example, if you run your website on a WordPress, there are tons of plugins with which you can add that code to your header section of your website. And even if you are not using WordPress, this installation step should be very easy. You just add that, save your settings, and you can refresh your website and your chatbot is there. Okay, getting back to the settings, you can of course configure the look and feel of your chatbot. Moving to AI settings. Here you have your basic configurations. You can choose between different models. And here you have different options and you can see how much credits will be spent per particular model. And GPT-40 mini should be good for summarizing documents, providing base answers on your documents. There are settings to choose between chatbot personas. So you can, of course, configure your own custom persona. I have chosen for this demo customer support. And this one is very important setting. So you can limit the responses of your AI agent only on provided trained data, or it can be only generic AI knowledge, or it can be a mix of both. That's a great setting. You can, of course, configure greetings, writing style. You can enable audio input for your chats. You can have vision mode to enable your agent to understand images. And you can further configure your chatbot using custom code and scripts. There are some protection settings and few other settings as you can see on the screen. All right, regarding training, 
how you would add your data. There are different ways. You can crawl URLs, add PDFs, Word files, Q&A pairs. I think it is a special format, maybe a table, or it can be in format of CSV, where you provide question and answer, predefined. You can just add text, get data from products and services, catalogs, add audio and video files, links from YouTube. So you have many options. And just to give you an example, here are the links. There are some reviews of the tools. There are some summary about AppSumo deals for the tools. So that's the data which I added to the knowledge base of my AI agent. All right, let's move further and see what kind of automations you can have. There are a lot of additional settings. You can enable prompting to connect to human. There are settings to mark requests as resolved. Settings to send chat transcription to the user. You may enable collecting leads information. There are smart suggestions. You can enable chat to call API to grab additional data. And there are more settings. And please pay attention that you can enable web browsing feature for your AI agent, as well as perplexity and Google search. So very powerful feature. You can enable knowledge from Wikipedia. You can enable image generation with your chatbot. And this one, Wolfram Alpha, you may refer to it as a knowledge for your AI technology. So it can answer on particular topics, for example, food and nutrition. So your chatbot can provide the detailed data on a particular topic. So let's go back to some other general settings. You can see the chat history, of course. There is built-in CRM for your leads collection. You can see detailed analytics and usage statistics. There are some private accounts, WhatsApp integration. There is Zapier integration. So, for example, you can add automation when new chat session begins. Maybe you would like to receive a notification upon that event. And a cherry on top, Insert Chat provides API access. Maybe you would like to build an application around Insert Chat, or maybe you would like to enable more automations. For example, maybe what Zapier provides is not enough for you. You can add additional through API calls. For example, you can create a chat session or you can get all leads. So nice to have. All right, let me give you another example. Here you can see I am asking a question about recommended tools to rank higher. I misspelled rent, but not a problem. And here is the response. In order to rank higher, the tool suggested to me few AI writing tools like Blog Assistant and WordCraft. Reviews about these tools were added to the knowledge base of this chatbot. Right away, we have affiliate link to those reviews. If we scroll down, we can see that in order to rank higher, we'll need a keyword research tool. So there was a review about keyword hero as well. And we can take a look at the page which describes keyword hero, highlights about that tool, pros and cons, and detailed FAQ section based on the user's experience. As well, the tool suggested NeuronWriter to optimize SEO. So this is example of the data that was added to the knowledge base. And here we get some general AI knowledge, meaning that in order to run higher, we'll need Canva to build some graphic designs and Yoast SEO for our technical search engine optimizations. That's a great response. So just to give you an example, let's ask a question, why would I need NeuronWriter? And here it is. We've got the summary about capabilities of the neuron writer. And here it is, my affiliate link to the neuron writer. I think that's great. There's just one example how Insert Chat 
can help you with your business, with your sales. All right, so let's move to the conclusion. As I said in the beginning of the video, I think Insert Chat is a great buy. So please check the link in the description to get this tool while you still can. I don't know, maybe it will be available after plus some day, maybe not. I can't say for sure. So while you still can, please check this tool. I think it is a great one, easy to set up and it has a lot of features that are needed to build your AI chatbot assistant. So that's it. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.